Hello, 7 grade students of SMPK Penabur, Jakarta. How are you today? I hope you always in a good condition and still passionate to continue our biology lesson. Today, in this video, you are going to learn about microscope. The video will be divided into three parts. First, you will learn about parts of microscope and its function. And after that, you will learn about how to use a microscope. And then the last one, you will have to know about do and don'ts when you use a microscope. Let's find out together. First of all, we have to know what is microscope. Microscope is an optical instrument consists of two types of lens which are ocular lens and objective lens. Microscope gives us the ability to examine any kinds of things which cannot be observed by our naked eye. And the last thing you have to know about microscope is light microscope had been widely used for laboratory around the world. Microscope consists of various parts with each specific function. Please watch and listen carefully to the following explanation. Most of microscopes will be stored in an airtight laboratory cabinet. It is to prevent the oxidation or the moisture air from the environment. To carry the microscope, use both hands, one holding the arm and the other under the base of the instrument. If the microscope is too heavy for you to carry safely, ask for assistance. At the top of the microscope are the eyepieces or oculars. These magnify our specimen 10 times. The second set of lenses are down here. These are the objective lenses. They are 4x, 10x, and 40x lenses. They are mounted on the revolving nose piece, which lets you change them easily. Next, we have the power switch here, which turns the light on. We have a ring mounted under here, which is called the diaphragm. By moving the ring of the diaphragm, we can control the amount of light that reaches the specimen. We can also adjust the light by using the dimmer switch. This part of microscope is called the stage, and on it is a mechanical stage. This is what's going to hold the slide. To put a slide on the microscope, simply pull this arm back. We're going to move the slide around by moving these two knobs. This knob moves the slide forward and back, and this knob moves the slide left and right. To focus the image in our microscope, there are two focusing knobs. The bigger one is coarse focus knob and the smaller one is fine focus knobs. When we use the coarse focus knobs, the stage moves a lot. Meanwhile, when we turn the fine focus knobs, it moves in very small increments. The eyepieces are adjustable, so when you look through the microscope, you want to adjust them so that they only form a single image, just like this. After that, you can begin your observation. Next, we are going to learn how to use microscope. From the slide preparation to the adjustment of objective lens, image focus, and the light intensity. Let's check it out. For the slide preparation, we use a technique called a wet mount slide. Pay attention to the following steps. We always start observing our specimen on the microscope with lower power objective. Then, we are going to look through the eyepieces 
and we're going to turn the course adjustment knob away from us until we get our image into focus. Then we're going to use the fine adjustment knob to really get the sharp focus. Now it's a good point to use the diaphragm to adjust the light. Sometimes turning the light down just a little bit will let you see a lot of more details. Next we're going to the medium power. To go to medium power, simply rotate the revolving nose piece. And then we're going to look through the eyepiece. We're going to use a coarse adjustment a little bit and then also the fine focus. Don't forget to adjust the light using the diaphragm. At this point, we are ready to go to high power lens. Please be very careful when you switch from the medium power lens to the high power lens. To prevent the damage both on our specimen slide and the lens, only use fine adjustment knob to make the image focus. Once again, don't forget to adjust the light using the diaphragm or the dimmer switch. When you finish using the microscope, remove the slide and rotate the lowest power lens in place. Move the stage to a center position and slide holder to the left. Make sure that the stage is clean and dry. Turn off the light and power and wrap the cord. Carry the microscope with both hands back to the cabinet. Be sure that the arm is facing out and that the microscope are not crowded together. Next are do and don'ts when using the microscope. But first, you have to spot three mistakes from the following demonstration based on the previous explanation. Are you ready? Can you spot three mistakes from her? First, she's directly using the medium power magnification lens. And then, she's only using one eye in a binocular microscope. And the last mistake is, she tilts the microscope from a flat surface. So don't do these things when you are using microscope. So what should she do? First, always start with low power objective lens. Second, always use both eyes. And third, keep the microscope stand firmly on a flat surface. Well, that's all for today's video. I hope you can learn a lot from this video and you can put it into a practice. Thank you for your attention, good luck and God bless you.